Saying that Hardcore Pond had a turbulent run would be an understatement. When the show premiered on True TV back in 2010, it seemed like a breath of fresh air but soon enough turned out to be anything but. When it was eventually cancelled, Les Gold, the owner of American Jewelry and Loan and the main man of the show had no choice but to file for bankruptcy and today we'll be going through 10 reasons why so stay tuned. Obviously, the way that Gold family treats their customers may very well be the reason why the show lasted for only a couple seasons. As everyone who has seen the show at least once knows, Les and his offsprings Ashley and Seth had no problems insulting difficult customers on pretty much every basis, whether it's their looks, age, weight and more importantly, race. The show was met with numerous accusations for being racist due to the fact that Golds blatantly made fun of black customers at even the slightest hint of a problem. Also, the fact that African American customers were being manipulated and pulled into the fights and that the footage was ultimately edited in a way that made the customers look stereotypical and silly did not help the show at all. The viewers and critics also complained that the show portrayed the city of Detroit in a bad light, stating that what they've seen on the show was actually a sanitized version of Detroit. On the other hand, others stated that the area is actually nice to live in but was given a rough treatment on the show to make it look seedier. Either way, everyone was unhappy with the show's portrayal of Detroit as well as its community which eventually killed the show. Of course, with the show gone, the Golds didn't really have any source of income so they had nothing else to do but file for bankruptcy. In reality television, all the characters have their roles to play. For example, on Pawn Stars, the roles have been clearly set. Everybody loves Chumley for being the village idiot on the show, Corey for being laid back and pretty much casual, Rick for being a bookworm and know-it-all, and the late old man for being a grumpy supervisor that advised his family on running the business. On the other hand, while some viewers loved Hardcore Pond for its somewhat cheap drama, there were also a lot of people who didn't care for the way the Gold family interacted with each other simply because their roles were not distinctive enough as everybody did everything and their characters merged into one. Les stood out the most as he was always ready to pick a fight and have someone kicked out, but Ashley and Seth pretty much acted in the same predictable manner. With only three of them that ultimately became two, it doesn't come as a shocker that the show didn't last that long. With the show being Les Gold's main moneymaker, it's not surprising that he went broke. While most business owners would probably do anything to avoid things getting out of hand at their shop, it seems like Les Gold doesn't mind a little additional drama. Just like probably any pawn shop, American Jewelry and Loan has a couple of bodyguards on the premises to keep things at bay, but the shop's customers apparently don't mind getting into arguments with each other or the shop's staff. Hair has been pulled, faces scratched and ribs been punched and while some of these fights just happened, others were obviously provoked and pawn shop owner Les Gold himself was definitely one of the worst offenders when it comes to that. There have been countless incidents when a bodyguard had to step in to keep Les and a customer apart, throwing the supposed assailant out of the shop while Les got in some jabs along the way. If things like that are a regular occurrence on the show, people probably thought that the situation was even worse in reality and simply stopped coming to the shop. Ever since Pawn Stars aired and turned out to be a goldmine, many copycat shows sprouted around in order to piggyback on its success and cash in on the show's popularity. Even though the critics called Hardcore Pawn a blatant ripoff of Pawn Stars, it is certainly the most successful one. In contrast to Pawn Stars that focuses on the historical or pop culture items being bought and sold, Hardcore Pawn is all about controversial items, like a weird gynecologist table for example, and the drama that includes clashes between Seth and Ashley, Les's constant search to make profits, and ill-tempered customers. However, this doesn't mean that there weren't any feuds between the cast of the two shows. When asked if the show had any relationship with the Paul Stars by the radio host, Les stated that he tried to visit them while he was in Vegas but was snubbed. Apparently, Gold phoned the Harrisons to let him know that they were coming but Paul Stars never waited for them. Bitter, Gold proceeded to take a jab at the Harrisons by claiming that the Paul Stars are scared of them because they're better and more fit than they are. With the pull the Pawn Stars have, it wouldn't be surprising that the feud continued behind the scenes and that the Pawn Stars somehow forced Hardcore Pawn into bankruptcy. During later seasons, more and more viewers started criticizing the show, saying that they didn't consider this kind of behavior entertainment. 
Many called the girls out on insulting and putting basically every person down that steps into their pawn shop before ripping them off. And viewers didn't just feel that they needed to learn to show respect towards their customers, but should also stop fighting and disrespecting each other. Many pointed out that Ashley and Seth were acting like spoiled little children and wouldn't stand a chance of holding or even getting a job in the real world. Whether this was all staged, exaggerated or actually true, people grew tired of the family's behavior and attitude and were glad to see it cancelled in favor of other shows. During the NFL playoffs back in 2014 and 2015, a scandal called Deflategate came into light. The controversy revolved around the allegation that New England Patriots deliberately inflated their balls against the Indianapolis Colts, which would obviously give them an unfair and illegal advantage over their competitors. For his involvement in the scandal, Patriots quarterback Tom Brady ended up suspended for four games while the team paid a fine of $1 million. Naturally, Seth Gold, the manager of American Jewelry and Loan who was also a fan of Tom Brady, wanted to draw some publicity and eventually even capitalize off of the scandal. He initially stated that he's willing to pay up to $20,000 for one of the inflated balls, but eventually changed his mind and story, saying that he didn't think the NFL would be selling them in the first place. Whatever Seth actually thought, there's no doubt that this deterred potential customers from coming into the shop. When the show debuted way back in 2010, people found it pretty entertaining because of its edgier approach to pawning business. However, as the episodes went on, the show's pattern became painfully obvious, which clearly goes against Les's saying that the show represents the reality of the pawning business. For example, Les doesn't usually work the counters, but you can always count on him to be there whenever someone comes to the shop with an unusual item to sell or pawn. As per the show's formula, there are always disorderly or disgruntled customers who get kicked out of the shop because of their behavior, and of course, the good old sibling rivalry that always results in an argument between Ashley and Seth. Even though all of this seemed refreshing at first, it became boring and predictable way too soon and the viewers quickly noticed that these arguments became more scripted as the show went on and the spoiled brother and sister act seemed to get much more focus. People obviously grew tired of the show and True TV eventually decided to put an end to it in favor of other shows on the channel. Back in 2015, after filming 9 seasons with her family, Ashley Gold, Les's daughter, decided to leave the popular reality TV show and her brother and father behind in an attempt to try her own luck in the business. While she worked as a co-manager in American Jewelry and Loan, she decided to be her own boss and opened an online retail outlet called Pawn Chick Shopping. The outlet deals with jewelry because, as she said, she was born and raised in a pawn shop so she's well familiar with it. Aware that she always stood out as one of the rare women in the pawn shop industry, she claimed that she made the decision so she could be with the family of her own, adding that everyone has always seen her rough and tumble side, but now people will see a new side of her. While this may seem like a fresh start, it appears that all the drama and cameras became rather tiresome for Ashley. With one of the key characters of the show out of the picture, it doesn't surprise that everything fell apart sooner rather than later. With all the radical things going on in American Jewelry and Loan, there have been many accusations that the show is scripted. This is something that surrounds every reality television show out there, and with so many over-the-top customers that overreact all the time, it seems like hardcore pawn is no exception. However, Les and Ashley decided to clarify things at some point and said that the shop is open from 9.30 to 6, 6 days a week, that they are 100% real. We work at the store, we are real. We are real people, we're not actors, they added. On the other hand, it has been said that the customers come into stage scenes, speak flatly and use nervous dialogue. Still, without an official statement that will never come, we will never know for sure. Considering that it's all over now, we won't be needing that statement anyway, but all those accusations certainly kill that show and Les Guild's bank account with it. It's common that successful shows lead to spin-offs and Hardcore Pawn is no exception. The spin-off show was called Hardcore Pawn Chicago, featuring the owners of Royal Pawn Shop. Still, just like it happened with original Hardcore Pawn, jewelry, expensive watches and other valuable items started disappearing from the store all of a sudden. Soon enough it turned out that Jeremy Jackson and Carl Bell, both employees of the store, had been stealing over $40,000 worth of items. What makes the situation more ridiculous is the fact that, when the two were busted, it turned out that they repawned their loot for gambling money. 
considering that only some of the valuables have eventually been recovered. True TV ultimately cancelled the show, whether because of this incident and bad rep or some other missteps made along the way. Obviously, since this was the spin-off of Hardcore Pawn, people just didn't want to have anything to do with both American Jewelry and Lone in the show. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.